guys. Being able to wheelie is an extremely important skill to have. Wheelies will open so many doors for you when it comes to trail riding. It allows you to attack obstacles in a much safer, more controlled way. And today I'm going to show you guys how to do a small, practical, controlled wheelie. All right, so the whole idea behind the small, practical wheelie is that you're going to be able to get a wheelie with very little throttle and very little forward momentum, which means you're going to be getting over those obstacles in full control. So we are going to practice using the suspension, using our body weight and a little bit of throttle to get that front wheel up with ease and control. So first things first, we want to properly compress our suspension. The key is to compress your forks and your rear shock evenly. The best way to do this is to imagine yourself compressing a spring under each foot peg. You want to push all your body weight down through your pegs. You want to avoid compressing only your forks by bringing your knees way forwards or pushing on the bars. This is bad body positioning and it also unweights your rear tire. You also want to avoid throwing all your weight back and only compressing the rear shock. This gives you traction with the rear tire, but you're not creating any stored energy in the forks for the next step. We are doing two very important things here, creating stored energy in our suspension and driving those knobbies into the ground for traction. Here we go. A nice even suspension compression. Now we give it a small blip of throttle just as that stored energy is being released. If you time this perfectly, your front end will lighten right up and it takes very little throttle. It's difficult to get the timing right when you're first learning, but be patient with yourself, you will get it. For the purpose of learning proper technique, we are not going to use the clutch. Of course, for practical use in the trail, the clutch is a great tool to add precision and control to our wheelie, but it is very easy to mask poor technique by popping the clutch. So let's learn our wheelie without it first. The most common timing issue is giving it throttle too late. You can see here that the stored energy was released before I gave my blip of throttle. Now, it's important to always cover your rear brake and put your front tire down by applying the brake. You may not need to do this when you're doing a small wheelie, but it's so important to make this second nature. Once you start to up your game and practice steeper wheelies, the rear brake is an absolute necessity. You cannot learn to ride on that balance point without it, and you cannot save a loop out without it. Trust me, you will not remember to use your back brake when you get into an emergency situation unless you make that second nature. And the only way to do that is by tons and tons and tons of repetition. So it's absolutely imperative that you start now, build that habit, so that when it comes time to learn those Graham Jarvis 12 o'clock wheelies, it's already a tool in your toolbox. Just do a freaking wheelie. Well, there you have it. The tutorial's over. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it.